let you see just how dark the clouds are getting. It's it's getting dark. So I'm hoping we don't get caught in lightning. Oh, that's thunder. Standing in water, holding a pole. Children do not try this at home. Hey there, fishing girls. We are here at Matanzas Beach. I'm here in the parking lot and just packed up uh, my cart. <laughs> not packed up to leave, but packed up to be here. And uh, as you can see, we have some upgraded equipment. Uh, I have a friend who is allowing me to borrow some of their recording equipment. And uh, so we've got a lot better quality of filming and audio. Uh, we've got a wireless mic, so I'm really stoked to be able to try this out today and see how, we, how it works and uh, how we can make these videos even better. Uh, I don't know if you can see the clouds are starting to get a little I'm just holding the camera right here but it was starting to get dark but I actually think this is passing us I mean it looks bad there in the video but it's really not that bad and uh, I think we're gonna miss it a bunch of people packed up and went home so that's good for me because I'm gonna get out there I'm gonna be testing out some new equipment so watch through the video and we'll see how this new equipment does um, some of it's not brand new but it's new to me and it's better than what I've been using so we'll see how it works and uh, we'll see you out there stand here at the end of the beach and find a run out. Wait for these people to pass. Down over there, you can see the water. Usually whiting, pompano, bluefish, yeah. yeah. Pompano too, little ones? Um, I've caught some keepers oh. out here, yeah. Oh, nice. Depends on the tide and the temperatures. And so you like the incoming? Uh, yeah, pretty much close to low tide because then you yeah. can get out yeah. into the trough. High tide, you might as well forget it. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta That's cast true. everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have a good day. All right, we're gonna come in here. This little spot, kind of like a sandbar. When it's high tide, this is one of the sandbars. But we're gonna be able to come in high tide, or low tide here, and cast out a little further than we could otherwise. I'm gonna check this out. And it's really not as windy as I thought it was going to be. It was supposed to be pretty windy. I'm looking at the water. And um, it, it looks muddy. But I don't think it's as bad as it is up in Jacksonville. Spencer just put out a report up there. It looked really muddy. This may be okay. We'll find out. One of the things that I am testing out today are sand spikes that were given to me by a friend of mine. So the ones that I had before are the typical ones that you buy um, maybe in Walmart, maybe at a bait shop um, that you're trying to save money on. Probably around 10 to $15 for that one. Had PVC pipe, had um, metal on the bottom, but not like this. If you, if you can see this one, I'll back up so you can see the whole thing, but we've got heavy duty PVC piping. I mean, you're not gonna break that too easily. Look how thick the wall is on it. And it's strapped to this uh, aluminum spike. I'm guessing that when I go to put it in the water that I'm not gonna have a whole lot of um, resistance. Some of them have like a foot pedal. They're more expensive. These do not, but I believe that we should be able to wiggle it down into the sand without having to use the mallet. So I'm going to try that right now. Let's move this a bit. But I'm going to come right out here and put this in and we'll see how it goes. And I keep forgetting I'm taking the microphone with me, which is so cool. So you guys can watch me and hear me. 
So putting this span sand spike down in. And uh, as you can see, I'm just kind of wiggling it to get it down. I want it kind of pointed backwards a bit. But I mean, that's something really big would have to get that to move it forward. It would have to really be pulling. So I'm going to try this with another one. These are pretty much all the same, but yeah, I don't think I need the sands, uh, the mallet to do these. Pretty awesome. So I got three sand spikes in. I think I'll wait on the fourth just because if it does start raining uh, and I have to pack up really quick, <laughs> that'll be interesting. But what I'm going to do is turn this here. So you can see I've got four four rods with me today and uh, I'm going to try a little variety of things. I was not able to get any live bait today. I called a bunch of shops. I visited one that I'd never been to before. I'd called all the ones that were on the way here and none of them had live shrimp. <laughs> Ironically, I was at the Fish Bites Tackle Shop. How, uh, Brett there, he was helping me get my uh, my new rods spooled up and while I'm there they're getting their first shipment of uh, live shrimp. 4,000 live shrimp. So if you need live shrimp, you know where to go. Fish Bites Tackle Shop and Liars Club, they're going to have that shrimp. They won't be lying if they say they have live shrimp because they'll probably have a ton. So. Um, anyway, so I don't have live shrimp. I do have some salted shrimp. I have fish bites, of course, and I've got the beads from uh, Sinker Guy, Chip Brundage, and we know those things are going to work great anyway. So I'm going to get this stuff baited up and we're going to go from there. It is starting to sprinkle. I'm going ahead anyway. So what I have here is a uh, Pursuit 10 foot rod it has an 8,000 reel, and for the first time ever, I am using braid. <laughs> I have never used braid before, so um, I've got um, fish bites on it. With um, hang on, this is actually loose. Let me tighten this up. I've got fish bites on it with um, salmon colored beads, sinker guy beads, and uh, I'm just gonna tip it with a little bit of salted shrimp. This is, uh, this is my own salted shrimp that I bought the salt and did it myself. These are nice and, these are nice and tough. They're gonna stay on these hooks really, really well because they're not falling apart at all. So, so I'm gonna stick these on here We'll get it out there. Wow, these sand spikes are tall. I'm not used to this. Look at this. It's so tall, which is awesome. So one good thing I want to tell you about these sand spikes, one really good benefit is that this span sand spike is going to keep the bait. Whoa. <coughs> Okay, so this is why we're doing this. Testing out these sand spikes, they need to be deeper. So we keep getting some sprinkles, but it looks like most of this is gonna stay to the north. If need be, I'll just uh, cover up the camera, turn it off, cover it up. And uh, unless it's thunderstorm and I'm not leaving. For this next rod, I'm going to put some uh, some of the purple beads on here. Purple has been a very, very productive color <clears throat> for me. Um, just seems like any beach I go to around here, you find a lot of the uh, purple coquina shells and uh, the coquina clams. So those purple beads emulate the uh, shells try the orange clam fish bites. We've got the uh, white over on that one. And then we're gonna also tip this with some salted shrimp. 
Right, and I'll move you so you can see what I'm doing. Just gonna cast out straight ahead here. So just with those rods being higher, super helpful when you see waves that are a little bit stronger. Not that these are super strong waves, but it's definitely not completely calm. It's gonna keep the line mostly above the waves. And uh, you'll be able to better tell if you have a fish or if it's just a wave. Check this out. Oh yeah, something's, something's pulling. Let's see what we got. So this was the purple, purple beads with the pink clam fish bites and uh, tipped with salted shrimp. Who says you have to have live bait to fish, right? Not what I was hoping for, but at least we didn't get skunked. It's a sail cat. So I guess that's better than a hard head. There we go. So we've got this sail cat. Gonna try to get him. Try to get him beneath the arms here. I know, buddy. It's making all kind of noise and sounds and vibrations. So we have a gap stop sail catfish. Not what we were hoping for, but it's a start. <laughs> we're gonna throw him back. So now we have to use a different rig because whenever you catch Hard heads are okay, but for some reason the sail cats, this is what they do to your line. I don't know if you can see all that. Just a ton of goop, just gross stuff all over the bottom of the line. And from what I have heard and what I've experienced is fish won't bite on this after it's all been gooped up by a catfish. So we're gonna retie with a different rig and we're gonna try it again. The tide is coming in and we've got rain coming. So I'm gonna throw this out and we'll have to move everything back. Testing out the GoPro on the vest. I'm gonna turn around, it's, it's getting pretty dark. Uh, a lot of people have left. We'll see what the... Uh, Lightning has been detected nearby that we might have to leave. Okay, here we go. I'm always checking the radar. 29 minutes ago, 19 minutes ago, nine minutes ago, four minutes ago. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna with that in mind, I don't ever take a chance when there's lightning involved, so we're gonna pack up. But I got one more, one more line in the water that we're gonna see what's going on with that. Okay, so I packed up what I could in a hurry. And I've just got this one rod. I don't know if there'll be anything on it, but gotta bring it in, so we might as well record. I'll turn around while I'm I'll let you see just how dark the clouds are getting. It's it's getting dark. So I'm hoping we don't get caught in lightning. Oh, that's thunder. Standing in water, holding a pole. And it's getting ready to be thunderstorming, so children do not try this at home. And hey, we got something. Oh We've got a whiting. That's a good one too. Check him out. Maybe 12, 13 inches. This is our, uh, I'm not gonna have time to <laughs> clean him. He's just gonna go in the cooler as is. Sorry, buddy. Here's this dude. You're pretty. Golf kingfish, otherwise known as whiting. Gotta get off this beach as quick as possible sip of coffee. I'm gonna need it. Whoa. 
Oh, it's going down in there now. Okay, here we go. So it's starting to rain really bad right now. So I'm gonna take this camera off and put it away. That's the smart thing to do. See ya. So when I stopped filming, it just started dumping water. So it's really good that I put the camera away <laughs> and uh, got back to the car as fast as I could because it just really poured. It's still raining right now. So I was toying with the idea of heading down to Flagler Beach and fishing there because it's not raining there right now. But it looks like it might it might start raining. It's still thundering here, and um, there's spotty storms popping up all over the coast here. So um, I think I'm gonna head home. You know, it wasn't we didn't get skunked. We had the sail cat, and we had a uh, pretty nice whiting. But I'm gonna sign off for now. So until next time, have a good day, fishing girls. Bye.